what you'll see here is the basic igniogram, which uh, contains the numerology of 3.142857. The concept of pi has come from the Sarmong Brotherhood, which dates back to the construction of the Great Pyramid of Giza. <clears throat> this is researchable on the internet. As you can see in some of these diagrams, um, <clears throat> pi is actually based on the circle divided into seven parts, um, which gives you 22 divided by 7. A 22-inch circle divided by seven parts gives 3.14287. in that circle divided into seven parts. Now when you draw a circle, what you're actually drawing is a two-dimensional depiction of a three-dimensional object which is a wheel. And the only way that a person can determine the circumference of that wheel is by rolling the wheel or by measuring its circumference with a very very tiny string such as fishing line to some accuracy. As you can see in the diagrams the um, <clears throat> rolling of a 22 inch circumference wheel will result in each division coming out at the bottom once and after seven divisions have touched the bottom you have the circumference of the wheel and you also have squares perfect squares, which means that the, the radius of the circle, which is 22 inches in circumference, is 3.5 inches, not something else uh, more than that as pi would describe. <clears throat> Actually pi is 22 divided by 7. This is verifiable by experiment. And um, you can see that if you draw the circle divided into seven parts and you then place connecting lines between two of the um, radiuses you can end up with the actual image of the Great Pyramid of Giza which is 280 cubits tall by 1760 cubits perimeter which is exactly a relationship of 2 pi. Um, Modern math, beginning with Aristotle, has been incorrect in assuming that you can draw straight lines within a circle and ever determine the size of that circle. Um, a circle is not transfinite. Pi is transfinite. A circle cannot be transfinite. It must be finite. <clears throat> Simple experimentation by rolling a wheel or by measuring the uh, radius and or diameter and then circumference of the wheel will show that pi is truly 22 sevenths. Um, <clears throat> as you can see um, 
there is a rolling of the wheel a rolling of a wheel and two diagrams here and both of them depict what happens and the result that is gotten um, so the Enneagram and the Sarmong Brotherhood and the Great Pyramid of Giza all relate to each other how we relate them we don't really know but it is known that the Sarmong have a history dating back to that period of time and it's also known that the Great Pyramid was built or well, thought that the Great Pyramid was built in 20 years which would mean one block built and placed every 20 minutes with brass and bronze tools which is bullshit uh, obviously the Egyptians had help uh, we can pretty much guess that the time period is guessed correctly because the Great Pyramid is in exact in cubits uh, 280 cubits high by 760 cubits perimeter but how they did it and what help they had is the big mystery in any case pi as modern science and modern calculus has it is incorrect